Hi, I'm Peter, your jewelry craft assistant. Today I'll be showing you how I'm making this beautiful 0.4 carat solitaire diamond engagement ring. I begin with alloying the gold. For this project I am using 14K high palladium content white gold for the setting and 14K bright yellow gold for the shank. It is necessary to use propane oxygen torch here as palladium has a very high melting point. I begin to create the setting. I am rolling the metal down the square channels, annealing the bar every few feet throughs. Once I get the bar to desired dimensions, I am creating a seat for the stone by twisting the metal in a circular motion. The rest of the bar will be used to make the wire for the prongs. I am soldering the seat. With a help of a colored block, I am creating a cone shape to the seat. I am marking four spots for each prong. I am pulling the wire and cutting it into four equal lengths of metal that will serve as the prongs. Each prong is filed into cone shape. I am soldering the prongs onto the seat. I am bending the thin bottom of all the prongs into the center of the setting and cutting across the middle so that the ends meet flush. Then I am finishing by soldering the bottom. I am alloying the yellow gold. I begin to create the profiled shank. I am rolling the metal to desired dimensions, leaving the center of the bar thicker, making sure to thin out both ends equally. I am hammering the center to the same width as the rest of the bar. With a help of ring bender, I am bending the bar. I am hammering the shank on the mandrel to make it perfectly round. 
I am filing the inside of the ring to make it flat. I am filing the sides to desired width. I am thinning out the center part of the shank where the setting is going to sit. Once that's done, I am filing the shank to desired thickness, adding the profile to the top of the shank. I am smoothing the edges out by creating slight T shape. I am getting rid of the tool marks by sanding all the surfaces. I am cutting the top of the ring. I am making a space for the setting to fit in. Test fitting the setting in shank. I am soldering the setting and the shank. I'm adjusting the seat for the stone to fit in. Once I set the stone, most of the parts will be impossible to polish, so I am polishing the setting before setting the stone. I am making last corrections with the hard pour and then cutting the prongs to fit the stone in. Once the stone is in, I am bending the prongs over it, making sure they all lay straight across each other. I am cutting the prongs and filing to desired height. Then I am hammering each prong so they lay flush to the stone's facets. This also work hardens them. I am filing each prong into the claw shape. I am giving the final polish to the ring. After cleaning, additionally the white gold part is rhodium plated. Here is the final effect. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and in case of any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment sections. Bye.